Hey guys, and welcome to Matt's Mansion. Uh, I've got a new house yet again, and the reason being is I actually built the reactor in the first, like, it's episode 8 or something, whenever I built it, and ever since I've had a reactor, I've been paying the uh, power company, uh, they've been paying me, rather than me paying them, because I was producing so much power that... I was actually saving, the, I was creating so much power that they were paying me to take my power away, my energy away, and sell it. So, uh, I actually made a lot of money on that, which is really cool. And then I reinvested the money into a newer house. A newer and bigger and better house. But I'm getting some willow trees, because we could do some willow. Because willow trees are cool. Got one in my back garden. I wish the willow trees like as big as the big redwoods. That'd be so cool. Oh my god, that would be cool. That would be cool. To have one that big as well. This is not good. It's night time and we're stuck in the middle of nowhere. In the dark, without a house. Okay, I'm going. So, he said that it's got two or three nearby uh, neighboring houses. This is the guy that I built my house for me. Um, he's, a dod he's a dodgy foreign builder, but um, we'll see. He's one of these handy men in a van. Oh, it's just an it's a witch's hut. Okay, that's, that's a witch's hut. So I, that's not my house. There's one over there. That might be it. Let's go and have a look. Jumpy, jumpy. Now, he said that he also bought, like, he, he was also, like, moving across stuff from my my last house. And that he's bought some things over, but not everything. There's another house over there. Is this it? This isn't a mansion. This is just a temporary little shack. Okay, this can't be it. It's not big enough to be a mansion. You right, sheep? Have you seen my house, by the way? Well, that direction, past the little hut. Past the hobgoblins is where your house lies. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Sheep. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wookie woos are you, Chocobo. That is a house that is most definitely a mansion that puts my old mansion to shame it looks like my old mansion doesn't look like a mansion anymore it looks like a house this is this is a mansion um uh, so let me give you a rundown of it guys this house has an rv garage six normal garages an indoor basketball court, a shooting range, a bowling alley, uh, a little home theatre. I think it's got five su uh, five suites for bedrooms. So, yeah, it's a massive house. It's a massive house. Uh, let's go upstairs. So, we've got the dining room, the library, uh, and then the kitchen from the back round through that door into the corridor. It's pretty awesome there's still a lot of work to be done in this house like there's a lot of windows missing and not been put in yet because they need putting in but we will do that at a later date because i need to get on with the series and having a house to work out of helps so the build is working on the is taking the weekend off so i can record this and uh he's coming back on month oh, tomorrow or today when you see this video he's, he was back this morning building on the house but you guys won't know that until this evening. Uh, yeah, I'm also using Journey Map now because Journey Map's a slightly better mod. Let me give you a tour. So here's a, here's the grand staircase for the house. The ceiling though is pretty epic looking. Look at that ceiling. Uh, right. So that way's the kitchen, and this way is the living room. So this would be the living room, but I've turned it into the uh, the crafting room because it's huge. Uh, He's put all my stuff in here, which is good. I, I basically had a floor pan, and he's done what I've asked. It's a shed already. Perfect. This is the house. Oh, my God. Oh, my 
God. What? That's going to be the... That's the garage there. That bit down there is the new garage. So the RV garage is there. There's one, two, three, four garages there and another two in there. Or there, whatever it is. And if I wanted to, I could have a car museum along this side here. This house is huge. I definitely need to keep this thing up. Right, I've got the cubes from portable storage. The machinery. And he's also pumped down my miner again. Because I'm in a new location. Uh, epic. Why aren't you doing the auto eject? You've got the fastest stuff that... He's also got my creeper heads. And wait a minute. Wait, what? That's my axe. That's my axe and a hammer. He's brought them across. Yay! This is a cool statue. Hey, 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 other than me. What's up? Um, I might put a statue of Patty, uh, Panda in here. Because let's have a look around. That's what we've got resources-wise. Oh, he bought them? Okay, so we've got these. Let's put a statue of Panda in my house. Because Panda's my friend. So let's put a statue of Panda... Uh, where can we put one? Put over here. Put that there. And that there. Where's the hammer? Now, I'll give you a tour of the house. But the thing is, there might be a lot of zombies and stuff around. Because... Okay, we can't use that. Wrong axe. There we go. Let's put... The wood in here. So there's a lot of building projects that I'm doing on the house myself. Um, I'd rather than my builder do it. Because he's expensive. And it's cost me a lot of money to get this built so far. So, um... I need to save myself a bit of money. Then, there we go. Looking weird, Nate. Looking weird. But then again. Also, guys, on the note of Nate Pandemonium here, we've got um, some kind of cool news. Me and Panda are in the midst of working out our new series we're doing together on my channel. So keep an eye out on the channel for that. That should be coming soon. Let's get on with this tour, shall we? So we've got two wings of the house. We have the east and west wing because the front of the house actually faces north. If I face north, that's north. Um, and the, the back faces south. So we've got... This is the west wing. This is where the entertainment section is. This is my office in here. Um, and then the library is just next door. Nice little gallery where you can hang some photos of people. I might put the map of... The house here rather than where it is right now uh that's just a little corridor this is the cinema in here so the cinema screen will go on there or up there whatever at least put more of a wall in there i need to finish that he's told you he's a dodgy builder uh there's a window missing right here yep there's a window missing holy shizer that was close um, there's a, that's the bowling alley corridor. So you bowl down that corridor. We come out here. This is at the main entertainment area. This is like a little closet or bathroom or something. There's another one here, I believe. But I don't want to go in there just in case I get something blown up. Uh, this is the indoor basketball court. What do you guys think? How cool is this? Play basketball inside your house. Don't have to go anywhere. Could be a gym you want to do. Then this is my shooting range. So I'm going to put a target at the other end and have bow and arrow shoot up and down here. would be cool. So there's, a, there's a sheep just casually hanging out. Down here is an empty corridor. There's a lot of stuff I need to do on this house still. This is just like a little chill out area in here. Got a little few sofas and stuff and just chill out. These rooms, this room is, I don't know what this room is. This room's got storage closets in here. I haven't put the doors in. This is just another random room. What's in here? That's another one. Okay. I'm not, not going in there because there's, there's, there's a creeper. 
as you probably saw. Do not go in there. This is the cool bit. This staircase leads to my bedroom. So you go up here, and then we end up in my bedroom. So this is the... Um, which one is it? Is this my... This is my dressing room. This is my dressing room. So all my clothes will go in here. Then this is my bathroom in here. And then if I got married, my wife's dressing room would be in here. She would have a bathroom in so there or in here or something. I don't know. And then... Like, she's got a clothes... Oh, one of these is a shoe closet. That's what it is. And then out here is the main bedroom, which you've already seen. So that's this wing. We've pretty much done that. Uh, upstairs in this wing, it's got nothing pretty much from just blank walls because the rooms haven't been planned out yet. Uh, that's what I mean by building still needs to be do being done. No, you don't. I'm going to get iron golems for this place. I'm going to buy some iron golems to walk around and just kill everything. Um, here's this wing. So we've got this little corridor here, which is the dining room. This is the kitchen. Uh, so this is the kitchen. Pantry. I don't know what that little closet is over there. Uh, this is like your living room, TV, like sitting, lounging area for when you're in the kitchen. Could put a breakfast table in there. There's different rooms and offices in here. Then this is over here. If I dig it up. This is where the swimming pool's going. I need to fix part of the roof. Because I haven't put the swimming pool in here. But that's a swimming pool in there. So, this house is pretty cool. This is what we call the mud room. And basically, we will go in here. Down the steps, and there'll be concrete floor in here. And there'll be garage doors going out this way to the courtyard. So that we can... Um... I'll just open up this. Go out here. This is the courtyard. There is going to be a sort of like a gate here where you can drive through on the driveway. This is a separate building. I don't know what I'm going to do with this building. But there will be garages in it. And then we go over here. There is this garage, which is the RV garage. And then the other ones are all normal sized garages. This is the workshop room in here. Which I don't know what I'm going to turn it into. But yeah, we've got these two redwood trees for the estate. There's floating berry bushes. I'll get down there. There's a lot of stuff this house needs to do, have done to it. So it is massive. It's going to take me a long time to do, but it's going to be worth it. And hopefully, I don't lose this world and this file, this save file and all that kind of stuff. But also, I have another builder, a different builder, who is building me a, a state house. So I've got two, like... Uh, that's a concussion creeper, isn't it? Yeah, let's bring her out here. Because if we bring her out here, we won't matter if I die. There we go. See? Just bring back a little bit. That's part of the problem as well with this kind of uh, concussion creeper. Con concussion creeper. This kind of situation... I'm stuck on the ground. He's put me on the ground? What the heck? That is really weird, but okay. That was under the swimming pool. Wow. That is not good. That's not useful. At all. So, guys, yeah, this is my uh, MC, MC TV Cribs. Uh, tell me what you think so far. And yeah. If you've got any ideas what I could do for furniture and stuff, or like what car I could build in Minecraft, let me know and uh, we'll try and do it. So quickly before we finish up in a minute, 
this is the outside area. This kind of veranda slash porch thing goes all the way around the back of the house. And we've got like a nice little barbecue area over there. We've got a nice little shed. Uh, there's the solar panels powering my stuff inside right now. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I can do. There's a, I think this is my my local witch. What's she up to in there? Hello, I'm your new neighbour. What's your name? Coven Witch. Okay, your name's just Coven Witch. Okay. Well, if you go start living in my back garden, I need you to pay rent. So that's that. Uh, Bricky's in. Bricky's at the moment. He's staying with a friend. He has. I like. I think he's with a doctor or something. He needs like injections or something for his vaccinations because he's a little. You don't want him to get poorly, so he's got to have his injections. And then we're back to here. So this house is pretty much like a long, sort of thingy house. This is panda. So obviously, um. Other than that, guys, that is pretty much it. I haven't got a lot to show you for the day because I haven't got all my equipment. There's a truck coming later this week to deliver all my stuff. So once that's here and we've got all my stuff in the back of it, we can put it into the put it in the house. These garage doors, though, look really interesting. I don't know how these things work. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I think the house tours are done. And I'm going to say thank you for watching. Uh, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Over the line? Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book. There we go. Hey, the cyber cop. He doesn't look very pristine as a cop. Okay, tapping a book basically tells him the evidence, does it? He's gone.